Alright, this is a weekly reading for Libra. Um, I do not have any channeled messages for you, uh, except for social anguish. So you might actually not feel like socializing with people, or there might be something that um, keeps coming up in conversation that you don't really want to explain, or that kind of has run out of, like, the source. You know, it's kind of like, that's, you know, way behind in a situation, all right? So um, there's something going on here that's just, like, it's nobody's business. Or everybody keeps talking about it, you know, it's like, it, you're over with it, you know. So, number one, we have you right now for this week's reading. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a happy situation, to, or solution to a problem. Uh, joy and uh, dancing, healing from the soul, victory solace, uh, partial fulfillment of a compromise. So there's some type of compromise here. It could be with a uh, partnership, work, or something else that's in your personal life. So exciting. Um, number two, we have week's theme, which is going to be the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a quarrel or a major unhappiness, a miscarriage, despair, suffering, sometimes death, or a disillusion. So there is a, um, you might actually be happy that you're not having a kid. Maybe you have too many kids. Maybe you don't really want to be a parent because of different things. But at the same time, like having a miscarriage is like serious. Because it does have some health issues that come along with it, which could cause depression or um, an eating disorder, depending on how bad the miscarriage was and how the person felt about the pregnancy or the situation in general. So there's there's a long, drawn out thing. So you know, there's there's something here. Anyway, number three, we have the challenge of the week which is going to be the full in reverse. The full in reverse is lack of discipline, lack of restraint, wild behavior, addiction, recklessness, uh, mental health problems, and issues uh, being taken advantage of. So there's something here that, like I said, is going to be a mental health issue. Um, so it could be a miscarriage or it could be something else that is kind of disheartening to you as far as uh, longevity. Okay, so there's there's something here that's not 100% what you believe in. So, let's see, number four, we have um, a lesson to remember. A lesson to remember is something from the past, which is a six of swords. Six of Swords in reverse is um, progress you do not welcome, emotional baggage, change you didn't ask for, um, unresolved issue, uh, results you did not appreciate, resisting a transition. Or transition. So there's something here that um, could be ending or ended <laughs> or something to that effect. My cat keeps trying to jump off the bed, so if you hear it again, I guess she's trying to perfect her jumps or something. But, it, you know, it could be kind of somewhat the same, where it's, uh, you know, it could be somebody trying to get attention, but trying to perfect their act as well. So... Um, there's somebody here that constantly needs your attention, or you might need attention for something, or you're trying to draw somebody's attention so that they will talk to you, right? So there's something going on here. Anyway, number five. Number five is lesson you will learn this week, which is the Queen of Swords. 
The Queen of Swords is in reverse, and it's loneliness, cold-heartedness, is cruel for no reason, likes to hurt others, meddles, cruel bitterness, and infertile divorce or widowhood. So this is either your parents or your uh, ex-spouse, which is kind of like hates the world for not having children or not being able to have children. Or could blame you um, for something. It, it's a very weird energy. So it could be that you um, kind of didn't want another child or you didn't want children um, and they didn't really understand that so they could be blaming you for that you know it's just you know it, people try to play the match game when you know situations happen you know and it could be that they were just not in the mental stability to have a child or something so you know it's, there's different things that happen there Anyway, number six. Number six is the gift that you give yourself. So we have the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles in reverse is having to wait a long time. Lack of reward, not seeing rewards overnight. Um, work without results, distraction. Uh, let's see, requires more patience than most people have. So. This could just be like a waiting game, or it could just be um, you trying to be financially secure or something, or moving on from a situation that probably took a lot of financially away from you, or just a lot of life out of you in general. It could be emotional, mental, you know, psychic stability, or spiritual stability, you know. Some people, you know, they're, they're just you know, emotional, mental, and, you know, physical vampires, um, <laughs> for, for different reasons, but, um, yeah, I feel like you're trying to move on to something that's more grounded in reality than fiction, okay, if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next reading. I know it was short and sweet, but I feel like there's gonna be a lot of touch and go here, in this relationship, so I feel like it's gonna be hello, goodbye type, type of thing anyway in this uh, situation, so um, I'm gonna end it here so then, you know, you kind of get the gist of what this uh, week will be about, okay? Anyway, I'll see you in the next reading, alright Libra? Bye now.